talking about the temple, I had been told about baptisms for the dead. And With proper authority, an individual could be baptized for and in behalf of someone who had never had the opportunity. That individual could accept or reject baptism according to his own desire. And the reason why this is so important for me is because I have a brother that, you know, died unexpectedly, had a very violent death, and, and my father as well, my mother, uh, they all died within six months of each other in 2015. I thought of my brother and I thought, you know, as of right now, everybody thinks that, you know, he's dead and that's it, and on the day of the resurrection, he's gonna get judged, and me knowing my brother, I know there was no way that, <laughs> if we kept up that belief that there was no way he was going to go to heaven because he just, he also had a rough life and spent a lot of years in prison and, and just did a lot of unkind things. So when I was told about baptisms for the dead, that really piqued my interest. I knew that there was actually another chance of reaching out to my brother on the other side of the veil and giving him the opportunity to accept Jesus Christ into his life. I understand that we have agency and we have free will and the Lord loves us and wants to correct us and wants to guide us but if we don't ask him for it and we just try to do our own thing then things are going to happen you know but yeah I love the Lord. He's done a lot of great things for, for my family and myself and I think at this point I'm just going to say uh, that I know the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is true. Heavenly Father loves us and our Savior and Redeemer Jesus Christ is just waiting for us to repent and ask Him into our life and we can all be saved. I just want to say all this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.